says you really log in let's go into continue this might be the very first time for yourself so you want to just to choose a facebook page in this case i'm going to choose let's say for example this one key into connect and I wanted to choose a business account. If you don't have a business account, you can create that inside Meta Business Suit into the actual settings. And inside the settings, you can always do this directly. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here. Go into all the tools, and here you want to go directly into your account quality or the page settings. The second solution is to do this directly inside Shopify. For example, hit into create a new business account, and then you're actually good to go. I'm going to hit now into connect and my account should now be connected right away so in this case i might be suggesting you to choose the enhanced uh, data sharing and hit into save you just want to leave this like that trust me and if you don't have a pixel to track customer behavior you can create a new one in creating a new one now i can go into confirmed and my store details is going to be appearing in here my contact info the returned window and hit into save Lastly, you wanted to agree to the meta seller agreement and submit this to review. After that, the channel setup is now been visualizing and we just don't need to do absolutely anything for just a few seconds until the actual setup has now been successfully done. And to the right part, you might be seeing that you have to make product available to your Facebook. What I want to do is to sync my products to my shop. So go and hit into customize your shop. This one should be sending you directly into the business facebook.com commerce section. So I can just hit into add new collection product or an offer. And inside collection, you just wanted to add the elements that appears already from your actual shop. This is totally depending if you have or don't have a collection of Shopify. So I can go here into my product of Shopify and here you can add your one, two, three, four products. In my case, I don't have any stock at the moment. So that means I cannot add anything into my product, but this is how we can import your meta business directly from your Shopify. So with that being said, guys, we are now ready to get started with. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We now know how to add all of these elements directly into Shopify. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you once again so much for watching the video. Hopefully you're doing so great. And well, I'll see you on the next video.